Hello and welcome to Verisurf Software. This powerful metrology suite provides you with broad capabilities that ensure accuracy and save you time and money when inspecting, reverse engineering, and assembling parts. In this series of videos, we'll run through some of the most popular applications to see how Verisurf works and how it can benefit your manufacturing processes. We'll see how to inspect and reverse engineer parts using both probe and scan data. We'll see how to automate part inspection using a CNC CMM, and we'll learn how Verisurf's powerful build function helps streamline fabrication. The examples are based on sample data files provided with the Verisurf Learning Edition, and they can be run without measurement hardware. You don't need to run the Learning Edition to benefit from these videos, but the examples are designed to allow you to follow along on your own computer. The pace is quick, but you can pause and replay the videos as often as you'd like. If you want to take full advantage of the examples, download the Learning Edition at www.verisurf.com, choose University, Learning Edition, and follow the instructions. Once Verisurf is up and running, we'll open the sample data file using the Open icon on the Quick Access toolbar. If we click the file type dropdown, we can see that Verisurf opens all common file types, including IGIS, CREO, STEP, SOLIDWORKS, NX, and CATIA. This enables inspection, fabrication, and reverse engineering with virtually any type of CAD model. We'll select all master CAM files, then navigate to the folder Verisurf Example Files Learning Edition, where we'll open the file VLE Sample Data. Before we begin working with the data, let's take a moment to review the interface. The graphics window in the center of the program displays the CAD model and our measured data in graphical form. We use the arrow keys, or shift-drag with the mouse scroll wheel, to pan the image. To rotate the image, we use the alt arrow keys, or we press the scroll wheel while dragging the mouse. We can zoom the image using the page up, page down keys or by spinning the scroll wheel. If we choose the View tab on the ribbon, we can use the buttons to select graphic views such as Top and Front, and we can change the zoom. Let's reselect ISO view. The ribbon interface across the top of the program window displays all the functions in the software organized into major areas such as surfacing, solids, measurement, reverse engineering, analysis, and similar groups. The Device Manager on the right side of the screen lets us assign, calibrate, and manage our measuring hardware. The Operations Managers on the left side control functions such as reverse engineering, measurement, and analysis. They display measured data in a tree view and feature toolbars that provide quick access to the functions most often used with that data. Let's choose the Measure Manager. The plus and minus signs contract and expand the branches of the tree. We use the checkboxes to control the display of data, and we can fit the screen to see all visible objects. Finally, selecting objects in the tree highlights them in the graphics view, and it makes hidden objects visible. We should now have a basic understanding of the interface. In the following videos, we'll explore Verisurf's main applications through a series of workflows covering inspection, tool building, and reverse engineering. Let's finish by selecting the New button and then discard our changes.